Well, hey everyone, and welcome to our physics homework tutorial. Uh, we hope you find this tutorial helpful in your study of physics, and if you do, please visit our website at www.physicsvodcast.com. There you're going to find over 200 physics examples in every topic of physics. Uh, it's sure to help you get through that physics homework. We'll see you then! Okay, the Sioux Falls physics teachers are here with a problem where we're going to look at the work from a pressure volume graph. It says calculate the work done by the gas for each of the three processes shown here on the graph below. First of all, we'll start off with calculating, or first of all, talking about the equation for work. Work is equal to pressure and a negative times the change in volume. And for a graph like this where the pressure is changing, really what we can do to calculate this work is look at the area under the curve, or in this case under the graph. So let's look at process one that's listed up here. And as we think about the process itself and what's happening, it is decreasing in volume for the first portion of the graph and then it is increasing in pressure for the second portion of the process. As far as the area under that, the only piece that we would really have to worry about would be this horizontal. So, what we'll look at then is this area under that piece of the graph. And for the area there, we are essentially calculating then the change in volume and the change in pressure that occurs there. So to find that area, um, remember we need to be in cubic meters and pascals, which are uh, units on our graph already given for that. So to find this area, I will simply take the length of the width. So uh, for the width there, I have a distance of 2, okay, and that is times 10 to the negative 3, and that's my meters cubed, okay. That would actually represent my volume. And then for my pressure change, it's also um, equal to, in this case, um, a distance of 1, and that is times 10 to the fifth pascals. The work that ends up being done then is multiplying those two together. When I do that, I'll actually get 2 times 10 to the second. And our units here are going to be joules, so a work of 200 joules would be done in that first process. Another important note is the sign on our work, which has to be positive here. Um, the reason for that, again, is my volume is decreasing, so positive work is being done uh, when our volume decreases. Okay, our next process here then is process two, and notice that in process two there is a change in both pressure and volume occurring simultaneously. So again, this is a good reason why we cannot use just the equation form of this, because if our pressure is changing, we don't really have a set value to put in there. But if we do the area under this curve, then that would be an equivalent process. So notice that our line is diagonal. So the area for process two could be divided into a triangle. And then below that, a square, which is what we just calculated there for process one. So for process two then, we're going to have the area of our 200 joules. So that 200 joules is what we already found for this portion of the graph. And then we'll be adding on the triangle that is on top of that. Formula for area of a triangle is one half base times height. So one half, our base, is from three to one 
times 10 to the negative third cubic meters. So that again would be 2 times 10 to the negative third. Multiply that times our height. And our height is from 1 to 2 times 10 to the negative fifth. So that would be 1 times 10, or rather to the fifth power. And so we end up with adding those together an additional 100 joules and our total turns out to be 300 joules for the entire process. Again, noticing that for our sign, we're starting with a large volume here and going to a smaller value for volume. So if we go back to our equation just to double check our sign, a negative change in volume, which is what we have, would give us a positive answer. So that does need to remain as positive 300 joules. Okay, to finish off our last process here, process three, this time we have a change in pressure first. So initially an upwards arrow, and then we have a horizontal arrow as the volume changes. And again, remember for this vertical line here at the beginning, no work is done. So the only place we're looking at work then is the amount of work that is under our line here at the top. So that work could be shown by this entire rectangle going from that horizontal line all the way down to the axes. And so our work then would be just the area of that rectangle, the base being 2 times 10 to the negative third, and the height going all the way from 0 down here up to 2 times 10 to the fifth. And if we multiply those out, we get a value of 400 joules. And again, checking our sign, we again have a decrease in volume. So a negative change in volume gives us a positive value for work.